Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. Today, we are going to continue on with the story. So, here we are. Professor Elm's calling us. Oh, great. H hello Green! It's a disaster! Um, uh, it's just terrible. What should I do? Oh, no. Oh, no. Please get back here now. Click. And, okay. So, we're heading back to Professor Elm's house. Which I could have told you ages ago. So, in any case, we're just gonna run down here and I'm actually going to fast forward over all of the battles um, so um, I have finally I got four names that were offered up as potential names for my rival and we will see them in just a bit by the way I am now speeding up all battles just because I don't want to have to deal with fighting Pokemon um, you having to watch me fight Pokemon over and over and over again so I'm just speeding them up so that we don't have to deal with that so there's one battle. So let's keep going. Um, because we're still in story right now, I'm going to not bother. By the way, um, just so you know, I will be doing training off screen as well. Um, I probably won't be letting the Pokemon die, and I will show you if any Pokemon die or tell you about it if they do. There will be a dead box. So we're just going to head down. Um, whichever way we're supposed to be heading down, we're gonna go this way. Uh, get that berry. Cause berries are good. Oh, I forgot to grab a berry. Oh, well, I can grab one back on the way out. Um, so, in any case, we have the berry in our pocket. So, let's keep going down. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna heal up. So, in any case, um, as you know, in the last episode, I asked you to send me your suggestions on um, what po what should I name my rival. I got four suggestions, and when we get to actually naming our rival, um, we will um, be showing that. Oh, and by the way, I noticed that she says something different this time than she normally does in the daytime, which I found very interesting. Um, just a little thing that you might have noticed there. So in any case, we only have put one Pokemon right now, and by the end of this episode, we'll be getting another Pokemon, because by the end of this episode, we will um, have Pokeballs. Yay! So, any case, let's keep going. So, here's our rival battle. Da, 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 da. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. A wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Oh great, this guy. This is your rival. As I love to call him, the red-headed stepchild. Because uh, he's a redhead. Um, in my original file, I named him after the Jonas Brothers. But I decided this time I won't be doing that. So in any case, he sends out a Totodile because we have a Cyndaquil. So here's Benedict. By the way, I am someone who really likes to even out my teams. And have even usage of team. So... Um, you will probably end up seeing me using a fire, water, and a grass, if I can get um, one of each. If not, you'll see me using what the best balance team I can find. Um, I do that a lot. Um, I've actually recently gotten into doing competitive battling um, on Smogon. Um, I might show some videos once I um, figure out how to do a good team. So there's that to look forward to. I might even start a new YouTube channel for Pokemon and such eventually. Pro but that's in the future. Um, any case, we're continuing on here. So we're just going to tackle our way through this Totodile. And keep going, come on. And one more and we should be good. Um, use his Leer, which allows us to win. Tackle. And we win. Okay, so moving along, we get 70 XP from that, so that brings us to level 8. Um, I actually did do some off-screen training after the episode was over, but there. So, our question mark, question mark, poof, are you happy you won? We get 300 bucks for winning, which is nice. Da -da 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 -da. My name's blank. I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. By the way, I am saying blank right now because I don't want to spoil the surprise. Um, but in just a few moments, you will be learning 
for the first time what I have named my rival! So, look forward to that. Uh, in any case, I'm gonna heal up real fast so that I don't have to worry because I'm very worried about um, losing health, um, status I heal. Um, I'm also really worried about getting poisoned. That is actually my worst nightmare right now. Because until Gen 5, you can die from getting poisoned. And um, I may put this in the rules. I haven't decided this rule yet. And tell me what you think. If I'm in the Pokemon Center, and I am just about to talk to Nurse Joy, and my Pokemon faints from the poison status element. I don't think it can be burned yet. Um, I'm not going to count that as death. Why? Because it's illegit that I am kind of story ready to be healed up and he dies. Yeah. Not letting that happen. Sorry. Uh, I, I draw the line there. I will probably actually potion them up so that that doesn't happen. So here we go. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. What? You saw Battle the Trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? Why, yes I did. Now, so, in just a second, I will show you how I chose the name for the rival. This was fair, randomized, and fun. So, I had four names, and I used the Dungeon & Dragons dice roller from Wizards.com to make my decision. So, they have a, I took the D4, and I rolled it three times um, to choose the name. There are four names. Um, it was Faust, Lime, William, and a third, which I'm forgetting. Fourth, which I'm forgetting right now. But those were the four that come off the top of my head. So in any case, we're going to roll it three times. And whichever number, and I've numbered them. So whichever number I get last is... Oh, wait, it was Faust, Faustus, um, Lime... And it is going to be number two. It was two four, four four two. So, in any case, we have chosen number number two is the last one rolled. So that will be Lime. Ah, oh, Marlow was the one I was thinking of. So Foss, Lime, William, or Marlow. So we are going to be. So my rival's name is going to be Lime. Thank you, um, Fatal Error, um, for suggesting that name. So. Lime, as in lime green. But on chink. Um, yes, I get the pun there. So our rival's name is Lime. The red-headed stepchild is now Lime. <laughs> That's gonna be good. So, any case, moving along. Once I finish writing his name out, uh, ending here. Um, we can press end. Why am I pausing? Oh, I'm double-checking, probably. That's what happens sometimes. So, Lime was his name. Okay, so Lime was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. You're welcome. Green, this is terrible. Oh, yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's biggest discovery? We hand him the mystery egg. What? This? This is a Pokemon egg? If it is... It is a great discovery. What? Now, here's what I don't get. In Gen 3, we have Pokemon eggs. And yet, it's a big discovery in Gen 2, which is three years after Gen 3 in Pokemon Chronological Order. Not release date order, chronological order. How does that work? Oh, well. Okay, he's telling us about going taking on the gym in Violent City. By the way, we will actually be passing by po Mr. Pokemon's house when we go to Violet City. So, yeah. We've been on two routes now. Green, use these on your Pokedex quest. We got the Pokeballs. So we're going to visit our mom. And then we're going to start Pokedex questing. blah de blah, -de -blah. He's going to talk about how to do the Pokedex quest because he is boring like that. And it's just a blah de blah, -de -blah. We put the Pokeball in our ball pocket. Do 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 do. And now, let us go talk to our mum. Mum, I love mum. Mum's the word, and so the word is mum. Mum, 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 mum. I love mum, 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 mum. So yeah, so 
the mom shows we show our mom our new Pokemon and our Pokedex and tell her we're gonna go on a big journey and she's like, Okay honey, I'll help you by um I'll help. I know, I'll save money for you on your long journey. So that way you'll have lots of money for yourself. Uh she's actually kind of helpful because she does allow you to have a large reserve of money if you need it. Um That's also kind of annoying, um, too. But it's worth it, I'd say, um, especially in this gen. In 4th uh, gen, it's kind of annoying because she'll just buy stuff. And she buys stuff a little here, and usually it's not helpful. <laughs> She's, it's annoying, but you can probably sell that stuff if you really need to. Um, but in any case, we're off to get our very first Pokemans, and then training time. So in any case, um, the way this is going to work from now on is that um, when, after I get my first Pokemon in a route, I will probably fast forward the rest of the route um, until I get to the next play because that way I don't have to deal with uh, crazy stuff. And I'll only fast forward it, um, not on, um, and I'll only fast forward it then. Other than that, I will usually just walk through, but I really don't want to bore you with all of the training that goes into a Pokemon game, especially in Uzzle. So he's showing us how to catch Pokemon and he's catching a Rattata. Um, there is actually different types of Pokemon you can catch dr at different times of day. So I will try to play at different times of day depending on what Pokemon I'm going for. But we'll see how that works. So in any case, he's just shown us how to do it. And we've weakened them. So they're easier to catch. And there we go. So I'm thinking... Oh, okay. So here's our first Pokemon. And it is... A Hoot Hoot. So yes, my encounter for Root... 29 or 28 is a hoot hoot. Um, this is gonna take a while, so we're gonna watch. Watch this battle. Um, gonna start with the fighting. And we're just gonna strategize this out real quick. Um, after I catch this Pokemon, my plan is to run back to the um, Pokemon Center. Uh, not Pokemon Center, but <laughs> this Professor Realms will fill up. And then we're just going to speed our way back to Trier Grove City um, before healing up at that Pokemon Center and then ending the video. So, any case, so this battle might take a while because it took me, I think, three Pokeballs to catch Hoodoot. Um, oh, and you'll find out what Hoodoot's name is uh, at the end of this video, too. Um, it's a male Hoodoot, so obviously I didn't name it female. By the way, here's my challenge to you all. I want you to all go onto um, like some site that has a list of Shakespeare characters. Uh, Wikipedia, I know, has them. I know if you just type in William Shakespeare, you can find them there. Um, but definitely, um, I want suggestions for names for Pokemon. And you can even give me specific names to use with specific Pokemon. I will accept names, um, as long as they're from Shakespeare, I will accept names for any Gen 1 or Gen 2 Pokemon. If I can catch it in Pokemon Crystal, I will accept a name for it. I will promise that I will be able to catch it, um, just because I'm doing a Nuzlocke, but I will try to use as many name suggestions as possible for the Pokemon they are intended for, if you suggest it for a particular Pokemon. If you don't, I'll just name it whatever, um, I'll just use the name wherever I feel like it. But I do promise that if you place a suggestion in this or any future video where I'm catching Pokemon, I will try to use that Pokemon's name. So that's a little fun thing you guys can do. And I'm going to try to upload these at least once a week. Um, I try to update them more, but in this case, um, I had some footage issues where I was having trouble getting the footage together and such. So that was the deal with that. Um, so here we have Prospero. That's right, I named him Prospero because um, he is a wise old man and Hoot Hoot is an owl and owls are usually seen as wise. So it was a logical conclusion to me, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Hoot Hoot normally. Uh, generally, in, when you're playing a Nuzlocke, you don't give a darn. So that's how things are. Um, so yeah, so the next four minutes or so, are going to be training time after, of course, I catch, I um, heal up. I'm gonna go run, heal up, and then uh, do some training. I may go and uh, go into like I think it's Route 128, 
um, 28 and uh, train up a little there, but um, first let me heal up my Pokemon. Would you like to heal up your Pokemon? Yes. Do, 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 do. Oh, I love that healing noise. Um, any case, so there we are. And now, and actually, it's going to be about uh, a little less than three minutes. So have, have fun, and if I'm singing along, so yeah, it's Route 21, 9, so it's Route 28 I'm thinking of. So we're just gonna speed it up from here. I'm singing the William Tell Overture while we're, while we're doing this, and oh, I probably could do this faster, faster if I really wanted to, but I'm gonna do it at this rate for this episode, and maybe next episode I will change it so it's fa faster when I do these accents because it could be really boring if I just do. It like this for the minutes extra that I put on in this video because this really should have ended at the 15 minute mark or so. But because I wanted to get back to Cherry Grove, we're going to be singing and to the William Tell Overture while I come up with words and sing along to the song. I cannot believe I'm doing this. I am seem to be doing pretty well. You, I've got to give myself some credit. This is really hard. I cannot believe that someone did a song about being a mom to this song for a very, very long and kept the, each word to the melody and didn't have to hum. You see, and couldn't make up and didn't make up gibberish so that it all made sense. It was very impressive that she was able to do this, and I am getting really sick of trying to do this impromptu. So I'm going to stop right now and speak in my normal voice if I can't stop singing like this to the Wow, I can't believe I did that. That was fun though. So yeah, you have things like that to look forward to in future episodes. Because that is how I roll, man. Um, I might try to write some stuff or sing things some more, but yeah. All of the content in this channel is pretty much uh, revolving around my voice. Yes, I do use um, visual content from other things, and sometimes I sing songs from other writers, but the I do all, all I own really is my voice and my gameplay. So those are the important things. So and in any case, um, after we get this berry, um, I think we'll be heading back down and to the um, Pokemon training center uh, in the next episode we will venture on to violet city and possibly take on the gym leader at the very least we are going to catch at least two different pokemon and uh, and i want names for suge suggestions for names so give me your suggestions for shakespeare names that i can use for my pokemon in this game and i will see you next time this has been the Green Actor. Signing out. So long. Cyndaquils.